Yeah. Nice and easy. <clears throat> right, mama's on one. Good job, that's how you do it right there. What do we got? Hello King. Need a smaller gaff, really. Yeah, there you go, let's play that. Yeah, good job Ace, now, you, now you're fighting that sucker right. That's how you do it. Oh, I missed. One more pump. <laughs> there you go. Now pull him up. What the hell? <laughs> Swinging this way. Yeah, just like that, right there. Just like that. He is. Got him. That's a cool one, huh? Alright. Got you a little one, baby. Alright, that's good practice for a bigger one. Yeah, it is. You fought them perfect. That's how you. That's how you're gonna do them. Yeah. Just like that. There we go. Oh yeah. Come on, other one. I got you. Ooh, that looks like tuna tail. We got. Oh man! Dang it! Yep, broke it. That was a tuna. You saw the way it was fighting. Yeah, I mean it's hard to tell, dude. King, until like they start doing that tuna whip. Uh, he got the whole thing. You got to stop it. There you go, real, real, real. Right, baby, got another one. Oh, that's a good one. Right. It's a little one. Little guy. How many are we allowed? Three each. Yeah, small one. Yep. Yeah, it being right to me. Oh, he took off. All right, right into the box. Look at where you got him, baby. Yeah, that's perfect. That's where you want to hook every one of them, right there. Good job, Caden. That's fun on the artificial, huh? Good. Tuna? I'd love to have Caden catch one. Oh, you got him on that. Yeah. On the squid skirt. <sighs> Try to get his tail. There we go. Don't bite it. There we go. Unhook him. Unhook him. There we go. Let him go. See ya. Hey, boy. Dude, he was a fighter. Oh, 
you guys don't. <laughs> Okay, you wanna grab the guy? Is that what you got? I don't know, but it's big. Grouper. Grouper. Nice grouper? Yeah. That's what I was about to do. I was about to drop down and try to get an ingrown snapper. Oh, fuck. That was a big grouper. <laughs> Dang. I wish I would have got him on something a little bigger. <laughs> this uh, little. I was fighting them good, man. The, the line just wore out. I, I didn't touch a uh, reef or anything. I think it just. Yeah. No, I didn't touch. I just broke the line. That's all right, though, Get him, baby. Oh, look at that. What? Oh, that's a shark. I think that's a big shark. Yeah. See him? Uh, give me, give me a, a distance. Right here. Oh, thank you. Right here, dude, like 20 feet from the boat. Yeah, he's going after your fish. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's going down after you. That's a shark. When you pull up, you can't pull line out. You got to go because we got a shark on him now. Stop. Hey, I got, I got a baby bonita there. Like a, a small bonita there, so. Yeah, well, I mean, just the activity, too. Oh. <clears throat> yep, double hookups. <clears throat> I feel like I got a shark. That's what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, something, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you went after your flat, uh, your flat line, or did you get flat it? line? He hit. Uh, I had a pinfish on. Oh, here we go. There we go. Front line. Get that one out the way. We are on. Oh, there's something big under us too. I hope that wasn't a shark. Come on, baby. This is the this is the pinfish here. Oh yeah, this feels heavy. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's coming at me. Yeah, can you get, yeah, let's get over there. Give us plenty of room. Move this line out the way, babe. Get all those lines cleared. Everything, everything to the center. Come on, baby. Let's go.
That should be out the way, yep. What do we look here? King. It looks silver. I don't know, it looked like a football. Couldn't tell. He's digging. Tuna. tuna. Yeah, it's a tuna. Yeah, baby, come on. That was weird how he came to the surface right there. Like he's doing it again, like he's gonna jump. Oh, that's a nice one too. Tuna, tuna twist. Dang it, I got, <sighs> I got hit twice too. All right, now he's burying down. Now he's circling. Yep. <sighs> Dang, bro, they're so hard when you do that. Headshot. Yeah, we right there. Ah, there, I feel his teeth grinding on the line. One more, one more, hold on, hold on. To the front. Oh! <laughs> Come on. We're making your work for him. <laughs> Why did he come to the surface earlier? And not here. Here he goes. Stick him. Woo! Yeah, baby. Finally. That's not a bonita, that's not a bonita Dad. No, that's, <laughs> that's a black fin tuna. Cool. <laughs> Here, Caden. That's a fat sucker, too, boy. Look at that right there. Woo! Football. Black fin tuna. Yeah. Oh, he. Burnt his gills there? Yeah. Okay. Damn. There we go. Reading started. Up. Woo! <laughs> Man, that sucker fought good. I saw I saw them hitting to the left. They're they're busting the top. Yeah. I saw I saw the gold they and everything. Kept jumping. Yeah, they hit they hit my um my jig too. Yeah baby. You only got like 15 Grandpa on a tuna now. Let's go dad. Let me get that gas. Get him up here first. Hold the line while you pull them up, now do it again. Now hold, yeah. Don't, not too tight, cause you don't wanna pop them off. We only using 30 pounds, so. Okay, well. There we go. Do it again, real quick, real quick. You gotta be faster, Dad, come on, you gotta be faster. There you go. A little bit faster. Now go back down again. It's a big tuna. Under, under. God damn. Yeah, I don't know where the other one went, man. We don't have it today. Keep going, Dad, keep going, just reel. When he's letting you reel, just reel. You don't have to pump. Keep going, yep, just keep doing it, yep, just like that. He's letting you come in. There you go, do it again. You gotta go, though, man, you can't stop. We got, we got a shark down there. I seen a shark a minute ago. Yeah. All right, let's go. You're on them, Dad. Keep them coming, keep them coming. You might have to stand up to get a better angle. Get against the rail there. Yeah, there you go. Keep them coming. Come on. 
down again. You're going up too high, stay down lower and it'll be easier on you. Yeah. Yeah, do short pumps like that. Yeah, short pumps. There you go, right there. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a kingfish. Pull to the right, 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 to the right. There we go. Down, pull up, right down. Go, 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 go. Got him. Yeah, baby. There you go. Woo! Look at that one. Hold that up, Dad. Go to the front. Give Grandpa a breather. Man, Grandpa don't need no breather. <laughs> right here. Get a photo. I don't know if I can pick him up. Yeah. Give him a phone kill. Oh, watch it. Motherfucker. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Look at Hurry that. Hurry up. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. You that tired after fighting that thing? Yeah. <laughs> that was on a pinfish. Large pinfish. That's what they all been on. It. Yeah. No, uh, greenbacks. <coughs> Dad had a greenback on his. I just threw it out too. What the hell? What? You? Oh yeah. Oh man, I was gonna get that. <laughs> <laughs> I threw that one out, man. <laughs> Gif. Heavy. Yeah, or it feels like king. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just like king. Right. Little king. You got that? I don't know, dude. It's coming to the surface. Nah, it's a king. Is it? Okay. Go. Yeah, it's long and skinny. Nice run. Bring him around. That's a decent one. Oh, shit. Show them how we hook it. So this one, this fish guy already got nailed, so I'm gonna switch him out. But I'm afraid the line too. Yeah. So, but um, but um, what we do is, uh, we, let me show you on the fresh one. Grab the fish, put them like this. I go through the mouth like that, kind of pry its inside mouth. the mouth. Yep. And then there's a soft spot in the middle of that mouth. And it shouldn't take any pressure to make that hook go through. Yeah, show it real quick. Yep. Right at the top, right in between the eyes. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, Grandpa on and off. Uh, <laughs> that was a screamer, man. Yeah. No. That thing was dumping line. That was a really big one. That was, that, that was the fastest pulling one so far. But, um. All right, yeah, yeah so that, that's how we do it right there. This right. also uh, keeps them from dying. Yeah, it keeps them alive. It's longer. right in front of their brain. So um, it, it keeps them from getting frozen up and just floating out there. Yep, and that's how that's how we hook them up right there. It keeps them swimming nice and straight, and then and then when you reel it in, it keeps them facing forward. So he's sitting there doing like this, and a lot of times you can trigger a bite just from taking a few cranks on a bait that's been sitting back there for a while. These kingfish, so sometimes and really all the fish. Uh, you know they'll sit back there and they'll watch the bait forever and never make a move on it until it moves and uh and then they'll make a move on it real real your power one in your uh the battle there's a 
there's a kingfish right underneath the boat. Yeah, she trying to eat him. Trying to knock them off. These, these, that one was cooking out there for a while with nothing on. Now I do notice on the thicker line, you, you don't get as much bites. You, they don't hit it as often. So that is the only thing with the thicker line. But with the smaller line, you get more bites, but you also get more break offs. And wire, I mean, for whatever reason, I just, I just can't get them to eat wire. Maybe all you other guys out there can, but I have such a hard time getting them to eat wire, I don't even bother with it. And then the wire keeps getting tangled all up in the line, and yeah, it's a pain in the butt. I'm good with the way we do it. We're pretty successful doing it this way. Not it's one of many ways. There's lots of ways of doing it. Not only that, you can also refish while you're getting kings and and a bunch of pelagics like that too. Right. Yeah. You can reef. So we're on a reef actually, yeah. and and when you're pelagic fishing in the Gulf, uh, a lot of these pelagics are going to be reef oriented. So when when you get up onto the reef, you want to chum for pelagics as well and always throw a, a flat line out. Oh, there we go. That one just hit the water. Yeah, it did. Not even what? Five seconds? Yeah. And while you're out here uh, reef fishing, always throw a flat line out and throw lots of chum. No tuna? Man, I want to see another tuna. This come through sporadic schools. That's a nicer one. You want to keep them or let them go? Uh, Dang, bro. He's like a little uh, bullet. Yeah. We'll let him go. Yeah, that's all right. Good good choice. Yeah. I don't know if I really want to keep him anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're going to let him go. We already got we already a whole got cooler like full. like nine of them, so... Yeah, that's a little one. Yeah, and you need lots of bait, man. We we completely blacked out our live well. Now, you don't see it now, but we have been throwing fistfuls of bait. I mean, fistfuls. We didn't even think about going out until we had a blacked out live well with some chum bait on the side. It took us, what, three hours to catch bait this morning? Yeah. Uh, if we didn't that's, have enough bait, we weren't coming out here. That, that's mostly because <laughs> we are having a hard time catching them at first. Yeah. But we typically do spend an hour, hour and a half catching bait, and that's if we're just catching them in big, big balls of... Yeah, we sometimes it's one or two casts and we're yeah. done, sometimes it's 20. It changes every single day out here. But one thing, even on a slow bite day, as long as you're chumming and you got lines in the water, you have a good chance of getting into some of these fish. Show us, Caden. So right through there. Right here, through here, through the soft spot, tip of the nose, right in front of the brain. And then you're gonna throw it out and he's gonna get hit immediately. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna throw some of these chum out with it. Let's throw some of that out with him. I need a big one. Let's go. Shouldn't take too long. It hasn't been anyway. So then I usually leave that there. There he goes. Yeah. Missed it. Yeah, I was messing with the other pole. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. There we go. Oh man, <laughs> that was cool. I think I got that. Oh man, zing pal. Dang, that was cool. I think I got that. Look at him busting it. Yeah, he came out of the water like three, and you four notice, feet. Once we chum, they start hitting the top, jumping out of the water. So the Can second fish? the second you chum, it's going to get them going. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of chum 
and it'll get a whole frenzy started you know yeah they might you might not be getting bites and then throw some chum out there get them going again and it almost every time when especially when they're active there we go uh, already on and off five seconds tops out there yeah like he was on it these beak hooks here we got these uh, long shank uh, beak hooks and uh, we're, we're using these these are number threes three aughts and um, we're also using these circle hooks so I go up from a and I like that bent I like the uh, the bent eye like that it seems like it gets in there a little easier without them getting the line uh, and that, that's we go anywhere from an eight down to a six on the circle hooks and on the bigger rods so I got a eight eight uh, a 80 wide um, Cabo I got 40 pound mono or uh, I got 40 pound uh, floral carbon on that with 65 pound braid for the main and I got a long piece of floral carbon on there and you want to use 40 on the bigger ones because you're going to put a little more heat on them and you can use 30 on your smaller gear like the 5000s or the 5500s you're going to use that smaller that smaller gear that smaller line on the smaller gear so kind of match also the smaller hooks with the smaller ones you're going to use a bigger hook with the bigger line bigger gear so you can put more heat on them it don't make sense to put a little tiny hook on a big reel you're just going to bend the hook straight oh there's a real one <laughs> go k to go k to go Pump them. That gripper? <laughs> That'd be nice. Oh. No gag. I thought it was a nice red. Nice or, gag. Uh, I thought it was a big. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a keeper gag. <laughs> Dang, bro. Too bad it ain't in season, huh? Yeah, it's that one. Oh, come here. Ow. Why would you do that? There we go. He's thick. And there's your grass. Well, I kept missing. He come right out. Look at that. He come right out. There's a hole in him. That's how important it is to keep line tension on him. Yeah. Yow. Look at that. He's thick. Real thick grouper. Yeah, he's down there eating all that chum, dude. Yeah. Look at the grill on him. I was hoping it was a red That's grouper. That's a fatty, dude. How long? 27? Oh, yeah. Twenty-six and a half. Twenty-six and a half. Yeah. Nice one, bro. Yep. Let him go. <laughs> Sayonara. Good job, Caden. Yep. All right, you ready to get it? Yeah. All right, let's go. For the best fishing apparel on the market, go to fishhuge.com. Made with strong, durable, and breathable material, Fish Huge Apparel has 50 SPF fabric that will protect you from the sun and keep you cool. So if you have the Fish Huge attitude, then go to fishhuge.com. Apparel for extreme fishing.